Hi everybody, it's Cookie Lou in Arizona. It is a very hot Friday afternoon, June 19th. And um, those of you might know, I've mentioned it before, that YouTube is giving me difficulties as not allowing me to upload my videos because they're not recognizing my passwords and my username. And I, I can't communicate with them because they want me to open up a new email address to contact me through. But I don't want to use the one on file. So I might have to um, completely trash this account I have with them and open up a whole new account, new passwords, new email address, the whole thing to be able to be up and running again so I can continue to uh, document my videos and upload them, share them with you. So we're working on that, but I'm continuing to make videos in case uh, I do get lucky and can upload again. I have uh, some documentation that I can share with you. So I um, went to the spine doctor today, spoke with the uh, assistant there, physician assistant. She reviewed my MRI. She said, yes, you have degenerative discs. You have a lot of arthritis in your spinal column, and you have some fluid um, along the side of the column, which is putting pressure on the tissue and the nerves there. Uh, however, you're in much better shape today than you were when you first came in here, you know, two months ago, six weeks ago, something like that. And since I am in better shape, I feel absolutely wonderful compared to, you know, what I, what I was uh, feeling when I came in here, walking on a cane and unbearable pain. So she told me that she's not sure what the doctor would decide to do if and when I was ready for surgery. They don't suggest I do anything now because I'm feeling so much better with the exercising and the swimming and the weight control uh, that as I proceed and build more strength, I will feel even better. And I'll always have some degree of pain, but it should be nothing like I've been experiencing for the last X amount of years. So right now she's saying I should just stick to what I'm doing and that's all I want to do because I'm not sure I want to use this doctor anyway. If I do get surgery, she's telling me that he does a small incision in the back and he does some repair work through that incision. It's about yay big. They don't use lasers or any kind of microscopic surgery like they do in some clinics here. Uh, and he said the she said, then he'll probably also go in the belly. He'll work on your back and then flip you over and do work through your belly for better access to your spine. And I'm through my belly. I says, oh, I don't know about that. I've never heard of that before. Yeah, less invasive surgery is doing it a little bit in the back and then flipping you over and going into your belly and contacting other areas of the spine in a more easier fashion and doing repair work that way. So. She's, I don't know for sure if that's what he would decide to do with you, but that's some of the procedures that he does is back, um, back and frontal surgery and whatever. I don't know. So needless to say, I'm going to just work on myself, work on getting my weight down. That's going to make me feel 100% better. And I'm going to continue to work on um, exercising and doing the uh, moves and the techniques that I was trained to strengthen my back because I'm feeling a lot better in just a few short weeks. Yeah, I mean, it was hell getting to this point where I can say, well, I really feel much better, but uh, I, you know, it hurt. What I, what I needed to do really hurt at that time, you know, when I was feeling so inflamed and so, ti so, so tired and so, uh, and so sore. And little by little by little, you know, they got me to a point where I'm, I'm able to do the exercises a lot more easier. I'm doing more of them. I'm doing more repetitions of them. They're expanding me to other things um, you know, with rubber bands and lifting my legs. And um, Also, she said there's other things that I could do when I go to the rec center and get on some of the equipment there and continue with, with some stuff there as well. But um, Medicare uh, is, will continue to pay for my services at the, uh, the rehab center. However, I don't want to use all of my, my money up with them because if something happens where I get injured or sick or I need between now and the end of the year and I need to have more therapy for, let's say, something else, shoulder or something, uh, I've, I want to have some cushion uh, of uh, 
of uh, on the pay payment plan. So um, probably stay with them a couple more weeks on Medicare and then see where I am with them money-wise. And if um, I'm pretty much close to the tail end of what they're willing to pay for this particular thing, I'll stop with Medicare and I'm going to continue on what they, they call a fitness program. So um, many of their patients when they finish their therapy, they can continue to come in uh, as an outpatient and they pay $40 a month and I can come in anytime I want and do my, continue with my, with my regime, with my routine. And they have, of course, the physical therapist there to help guide me to make sure that I'm continuing to do things correctly. So I think I would do that for a couple of months at least before I go off on the gym and do anything on my own. Um, this is really close. It's supervised by professionals, and uh, $40 for a whole month anytime I want to walk in there day and night or night is a great opportunity to have that. If I was to just hire a trainer at the recreation gym, that would probably run me $40 to $60 a session. I don't need that. So, anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, after the doctor, I went to... Um, Costco and I went shopping and I bought a lot of veggies, a lot of fruit, some uh, greens and uh, I'm going to continue with my salads and I'm going to continue with my uh, self-made protein drinks. I don't use protein powder anymore. I just use a little bit of yogurt and some almond milk or left, uh, or um, fat free milk and I use some uh, peanut, natural peanut butter. It's not peanuts though, it's got a lot of um, high-end nuts in it like the cashews and the walnuts and the pumpkin seeds and um, other healthy seeds and, and um, nuts that are good and they're all ground up and they're natural. I'll put a spoon of that into my drink. Uh, I also have uh, um, some of my smoothies that I'm making with yogurt and a little bit of milk and uh, fruit. Frozen fruit and fresh fruit, whatever I have thrown there. And it's a very refreshing drink. I'm still eating my fish stew. Love it, love it, love it. And um, it was odd that when I, last time I went to the, it was Thursday, it was yesterday, I went for my STI training. And my physical therapist was working on my back. She does a lot of um, chiro chiropractic type moves, massages. And my shoulders all the way down past my buttocks to get the sciatic nerve nice and loosened up. And she's scrunching away and she's scrunching away. She says, I want to ask you, Lucille, have you um, lost any weight since you've been working with us? And I said, oh, how could you tell that I lost weight because I'm still so big? And she said, well, I, I, I can tell your face looks thinner and I can tell by squishing on you. <laughs> it's a little less there. She said, did you lose some weight? I said, yeah, I lost almost eight pounds. I says, uh, the last couple of weeks, last, last week actually, I've been really strict with my, um, my dietary intake and uh, I'm really getting back on rebooting and uh, going back to the good healthy choices and staying completely away from the sugar and all the bad things. Uh, I says, I lost um, almost eight pounds in what, eight days, fabulous, but you know that happens when you when you've been bad for a long time and then you kind of get back on track, you'll lose maybe five to six, seven pounds the first week and then hopefully, you know, you'll lose maybe another two or three per week after that. I would be happy with two or three pounds a week after that. The only thing that drives me absolutely out of my mind is when I go into a stall after all the hard work that I do and continue to do and then everything just stops dead in its tracks and after weeks and weeks of that, that's when I kind of get frustrated and go off on a bender, <laughs> and I don't want to do that anymore. That's something that I just cannot allow to happen anymore. I really want to continue and uh, to reach my goal, try very hard to reach my goal. So I'm making these videos, friends, uh, hoping that uh, if and when I am able to upload again, I will have something to, uh, to share with you. It's about it, real hot today, about 112, 113, I think it was. Um, and uh, I uh, spent the whole day out, and I'm pretty fried, I have to say. 
All right, I'll call it a day. Um, I hope everything is going well with everybody and that you have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Love ya.